step into the basement of an older school, church, or brownstone, and you will often find a relic from the past, a steam boiler. Though it may not look like much, this piece of equipment is responsible for delivering heat throughout the building using only fire and water. But how exactly does it work? Let's break it down. I'm Ray Wolfarth, Boiler Room Detective. At its core, a steam boiler is simple. It heats water until it turns to steam, then uses the natural pressure of that steam to carry heat throughout a building. There are two types of heat in the steam system, sensible and latent. Sensible heat is heat that can be measured with a thermometer. Latent heat is the amount of heat added or removed to cause a change of state. It requires one BTU to raise one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. The boiler is partially filled with water, usually no more than two-thirds of the way. Of the water line is air. When the thermostat calls for heat, the boiler checks its safety controls and, if satisfied, turns the burner on, igniting natural gas, oil, or starting electricity, depending on the system. That flame heats the cast iron or steel heat exchanger, which then transfers heat to the water. As the water reaches 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius at sea level, it begins to boil and change state from liquid to a vapor, steam. Here's where the magic begins. Steam, being lighter than air, rises naturally. No pumps or blowers are needed. The pressure created inside the boiler, often less than 2 psi in most low-pressure heating systems, is enough to move the steam through a network of pipes that lead to radiators or convectors. In a one-pipe system, common in older homes, that same pipe delivers steam and returns the condensate. In a two-pipe system, steam travels out through one pipe and returns through the condensate pipe, allowing even more distribution and control. When the steam reaches the radiator, it fills the hollow space inside. The hot vapor contacts the cooler metal walls of the radiator, transferring heat and warming the room. As the radiator gives up its energy, it condenses, turning back to water. This condensate flows downhill using gravity back to the boiler through the return piping. It's a beautiful cycle. Steam rises, heat is released, water returns. Steam systems rely on more than just heat. They need proper pressure and air venting to operate correctly. A pressure troll, or pressure control, regulates how much pressure is allowed to build in the boiler. Most small boilers, residential and commercial, operate best under 2 psi. As steam fills the pipes, it pushes out the air that was inside. The air must be vented where the steam has nowhere to go. This is the job of air vents, small valves placed on radiators or the end of steam mains. If air can't escape, steam can't get in, and that's when you get cold radiators, uneven heat, or banging pipes. Steam systems are reliable, but they can be temperamental when neglected. Here are a few issues. Water level too low. If the boiler doesn't have enough water, it can overheat and crack. That's why most systems include a low water cutoff to shut off the burner when the water level drops inside the boiler. High pressure. If the pressure climbs too high, the safety relief valve opens to prevent an explosion. This is rare but critical. Water hammer. If water collects in the pipes or radiators due to poor piping pitch, it can be slammed by moving steam, causing the classic banging sound. Dirty water. Minerals, oil, or sludge can interfere with proper steaming causing surging water lines or damaged components. Regular maintenance, such as blowing down the low water cutoff, skimming new boilers, or checking the air venting, keeps the steam system running smoothly. Steam boilers have been heating buildings for over 175 years. Many of the systems installed in the early 20th century are still working today. Why? Because they were built to last and their design is elegantly simple. Even without pumps or digital controls, steam heat uses fundamental physics to move heat through a building. When properly maintained and tuned, steam systems can be incredibly efficient and comfortable. Modern upgrades like smart thermostats, properly sized vents, and new burner controls can bring old systems into the 21st century 
without ripping out the entire infrastructure. A quick recap, how a steam boiler works. Boiler heats water to the boiling point using a burner. Water turns to steam, creating pressure. Steam rises through the piping system to the radiators. Steam gives off heat, condenses back to water. Condensate returns to the boiler by gravity. Cycle repeats whenever the thermostat calls for heat. Steam may be old school, but in the right hands, it's still one of the most elegant forms of heating ever created. And now that you know how it works, maybe you'll think twice the next time you hear a radiator hiss. It's just steam doing what it's done for almost two centuries. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have a steam or hydronic problem bugging you, send me an email and let's see if we can fix it together. My boiler books are available at Pronto Heating Supplies, TF Campbell, and on Amazon.com. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.